So tonight's workout is brought to you by Secret Juice by David Lade. Mm -hmm. What's in here? ESP Extreme, and Steve asked for a scoop, so I gave him one big scoop. If you did finish that, which you really should, I you'll feel like the first time you've ever taken pre-workout, like you'll feel like you're 14 again, all oh, your pain goes away. I remember my first time. It was so good, I was so scared, but it felt so good afterwards. <laughs> so we got a back day. We're just gonna go, Dave's gonna pick something, we're gonna do that, then I'm gonna pick something, we're gonna do that. High volume, what do you say? Yeah, a lot of volume. When you say high volume, uh, what are you talking? I'm talking just, just a shit ton of reps. Any like eight to like 15, anything like that, but just like a lot of exercise, a lot of sets. Dope. Like a lot of volume like that. Mmm. This is delicious pre-workout though. I'm gonna be up till two o'clock right now. You ready to do this? I'm rocking my new Gymshark line here. This piece, obviously it's one of my favorites because I wear it all the time. Heavy duty zippers on the side, paneling on the top. It's perfect for working out and then once I want to take it off. My only my only problem with this is I don't have more of them. I'm in the Onyx V3. Can you tell the difference between the V2? Can you? Tell me what you, how did you start out? You just were telling us? Oh, like my first year of lifting. I just pretty much, I was just terrified of overtraining. I trained a muscle group like once a week, super low volume. Still made gains because I was like a noob. Like, but you train how many days total a week? Literally three days a week. That's so Monday crazy. Would be like push, like no chest. Well, Friday, Wednesday legs and uh, Friday back and the weekends off. Just so low volume. Like I can handle so much more. But yeah, then a year and I like. But you still made gains. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Following a program when you're a newbie is just the most important thing. If you're a newbie, you could literally walk past the gym and like drink a protein shake, go grow. You hear that, Jason? I've been walking past the gym a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason. Jason's getting a workout, so I'm gonna be behind the camera with David. Jason, though, just asked, because he's doing, you're doing the power program? Yeah, power program. Sonny set you up on that? Yeah, Sonny's the MVP. Sonny, you are the MVP. You just asked me, though. How to improve, I'm asking how to improve one arm strength. Because I broke my collarbone in my left arm, so it's been significantly weaker for a large portion of my life. I always tell people, train unilaterally. So, lots of dumbbells, but most everything. It only goes heavy, is that arm allows so when this arm quits you're done on this side too so that right there and then probably doing extra mobility work for it if you're tight in those areas all right cool cool yo jason's gonna come back how tall are you six one um, uh, almost six, six two. two yeah about. jason's goal is six two two eighty with four percent body fat freaking coming out of here like the undertaker making branch one seem like a little boy It's back day though. Let's get back to back. Just had to do a set for chest. You guys are always at home like, damn, I wish I looked like David in a stringer. The reason why David looks good in a stringer is his shoulders are very straight across. You see how mine, you, mom. mine slope down? David's are like, Phew. you know how have shoulders like that? My girlfriend Courtney. Like the reason her structure is insane and she won the Olympia is because her shoulders, she's a natural tiny girl, but like she looks like a hanger. Like when you put clothes on a hanger, her shoulders are just like that. I'm just hoping. Miss Olympia. I'm hoping. If you ever have kids, they get my arms but her shoulders. There you go.
it's like I'm like so it's like weird because like nor normally people with like good physiques and stuff they just have like good proper physiques they just go in the mirror they take a picture that's how they're supposed to look but I literally have to like go through all this sneaky witchcraft <laughs> like it's funny because everyone has I can tell your pose is like you get your yeah. shoulders kind of rolled forward a little bit yeah. and your chest is pumped mm -hmm. mine is always with like slightly to the side trying to hit a deep V because everyone has different angles you're you're so powerful straight on because of your yeah. shoulders that's yeah. wicked that's like not a lot of people have that there's a, now there's some people out there that just look good at any like angle Ulysses Jr. Ulysses <laughs> you, you can't he looks perfect like doesn't get any better it's like he's designed like Yo. the 3D program go tell Ulysses David and, and Steve sent you tell him right now let him know David's just talking me into max benching. It's my third day in a row benching. How does a back day turn into a chest bench press PR day? That I don't know. All I know is my third day in a row hitting chest, but David and I were talking about how sometimes you just got a PR and a lift that you're not supposed to do that day. One, two, three. All right, let's put 25 on. Let me hit this real quick. Yeah, yeah, hit it. That's it. Two. Get uh, two, three, two. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Oh, you got it. You got it. Get good I'm four weeks into this program and I think I hit 365 or 370 I just hit 405 I haven't done that in a long ass time and I would definitely wouldn't have done it without Tell David here PR's that pre, that pre workout at least too. expect it people gonna be wondering what that pre-workout is I can already tell you, it's gonna be my favorite YouTube video we filmed in like probably a year. I just feel like there's like that Michael Heron video I had that went well, and then the one where we trained with Callum. And I feel like just that same like, and maybe it's the pre-workout talking, but this is, this is a workout we did four, what did we shoot, four days in a row? Like 10 to 12 hour days? And this is the fourth day we shot, and then tonight we're like, oh, let's go hit back.
got goosebumps from this workout. I am nicknaming David right now the Gene. That's it. The Gene. You have the gift, Phil Heath. David Lade is now known as the Gene. The genetic freak, the Gene. I'm Straight out of Estonia. I'm that little Christmas present. Those like socks wrapped in a small thing right next to the big gift of Phil Heath <laughs> under the Christmas tree. That's just, me. just the Gene. Like in a petri dish, he was created. The Gene David Lade. One of the pieces of ladder in the DNA little yeah, twist. That's yeah. it, just a little fragment. That's, that's his, his, his symbol. Such a sick ass workout, so dope. And you again, tiny ass little gym here in Brooklyn where dreams are made.